Thank, thank you so much. I, I want to thank all of my colleagues and the Democratic leadership and the chairs of the Tri-Caucus uh, uh, for all their work in making this happen. As we all know, the census is a cornerstone of our democracy. It is the greatest uh, peacetime participation in our, in our country. And it is re really important for two reasons, representation. If you're not counted, you're not represented. And secondly, based on census numbers, over 1.5 trillion in funding is distributed every single year. And we are already underway. In just seven days, on March 12th, families will be receiving, uh, residents will be receiving their census forms to be filled out in the mail. As chair of the, uh, of the Oversight Committee, I am committed to doing everything we can to ensure a full, fair, and accurate census, uh, continuing the legacy of my predecessor, the great chairman, Elijah Cummings. And the Oversight Committee has conducted uh, rigorous oversight. We fought hard to stop the president from undermining the census through an illegal citizenship question, and we won. Uh, the committee uh, and many of us filed an amicus brief that went all the way to the Supreme Court, and we won there. The Census Bureau has faced delays uh, from our oversight committees. Uh, we've learned that there have been missteps in recruiting, uh, signing up of uh, community partners, and developing critical technology uh, for the nation's first online census. The Bureau needs to correct these problems now to, to ensure a full and accurate count. The Oversight Committee is especially concerned that certain communities may be undercounted, uh, such as the black Americans, the Latinos, and Native Americans have all been undercounted in previous censuses. And that means these communities have missed out on representation and on crucial federal funding. Here is uh, some of the things that the Census Bureau has done. We've had uh, four uh, oversight hearings on readiness, and we've released a list of over 300,000 local Census Bureau partners organized by state and con congressional district. This is very good news. These are hundreds of thousands of people who want to be partners working with our offices, with our communities, with the Census Bureau to get a, an accurate count. And we have released, released what we call the toolkit to give members of Congress and members of the community uh, information of where to go. Uh, we're using libraries to help uh, fill out forms and to help organize, and this is crucial information. It's on our website. And my absolute personal favorite is the Census Hard to Count Map. You can go to Census Hard to Count Maps 2020.us. This uh, was developed in the community I'm privileged to represent, CUNY. It's called the Hard to Map uh, Project. And this will allow residents and other organizers to go to this website and download census areas by congressional districts. It will show where the undercount was last time. This is my district. The undercount is the red area. You see that all this red area tells me that's where I have to work with my community to make sure people are counted. And then with new technology, they will be able to update the maps as you go forward showing what areas in your district or in congressional districts have been uh, recognized and counted. That's an incredibly important tool that I hope everyone will be using. And the committee is also uh, providing information on how a full and accurate count will affect funding for essential services. So we will let communities know that uh, they are undercounted a certain amount. For one example, in some districts, there is a reimbursement of 1,700 for each student. If that student is not counted, not only do you lose that money for that year, you lose it for a full 10 years. So it's very, very important uh, to be counted and to be represented. Uh, we need to ensure that every community is fully counted this year. And we have the tools, and we're going to be working on more tools with the uh, Tri-Caucus uh, to get out to members and to communities to get an accurate count. The future of our communities uh, is ours to shape. Through getting an accurate count, you can help shape the representation and the services and dollars 
that flow to your community. And it all starts with a fair and accurate count. I am thrilled to be working with my colleagues to make this the best census ever. And now I'd like to introduce uh, Jose Serrano, Chair of Appropriations Committee. And is he here? Yes, great. From the great state of New York. And he is the co-chair of the Census Caucus and also the chair of the Appropriations Committee that funds the census. And he's done an incredible, heroic job in uh, working to get it funded this year. Congratulations. Great to see you. Great. Thank you to all for joining us today. As chairman of the CAS Appropriations Subcommittee, which funds the Census Bureau, we had to fight for every dollar last year to ensure that the census had the resources to conduct a 